Perhaps, but I think 99% of Americans and most rational people think, yes, there is a difference between what Harvey Weinstein did and what Glenn Thrush did. There is, there is a difference between what Harvey Weinstein did and what Al Franken was alleged to have done. And of course, I don't need Mika for anybody to tell me or to tell you that all is abhorrent, yeah. all of it must be called out, and all of it must be punished. But we have a criminal law system that differentiates between murder and jaywalking. And we also have we need to do that here some too. men who are willing to face the music, who are willing to face the facts, who are willing to admit to their actions 10, 20 years ago, even five years ago. Mark Halperin is more than willing to meet with his accusers and apologize with them face to face. I've actually tried to offer him to them. They don't want to talk to him. They don't want to talk to him. One there, the are some, there are some uh, hypocrisies here. When things happen and men actually want to validate that truth, that's important that we actually allow that if we want to grow as a society and learn from each other. If we just want to strike people down for political motivation or for anger, we're not going to get anywhere. And I know I just said something incredibly, what's the word, <laughs> explosive. Truthful. But Truthful. I have been pouring through these cases. They're all different. They all involve people. They all involve people had terrible experiences in some cases and some of them involve men who have sought counseling and who want to apologize who may not ever come back to their careers in full form but the question is should they be allowed to apologize should they show that they know that things have changed that that perhaps maybe they want to actually come forward and and talk about this I'm not sure what we're doing here I really don't know. And what happened with Al Franken doesn't feel right. It feels political. No. Yamish.